Hey everyone, I have a quick word to share today. And today's word is you're on your grind, no limits. You're on your grind, no limits. And this word isn't for everybody, so please take it to the Lord for confirmation and always test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. But if this message is for you, you are on your grind in this hour. And what does it mean? to be on your grind. I actually looked this up this morning because it was a specific word the Lord had given me. And it says, um, basically it just means to work hard. You know, it means that um, you have a habit, you keep a habit of working hard, you're consistent, you're focused, you know, you are in purpose, whatever it is you're doing, you know, you are moving forward in purpose and the Lord is blessing you in this hour because you continue to be obedient in what he calls you to do. Many of you have a stellar work ethic. You are not afraid to get your hands dirty and get the work done. You are the type of person where you're not a procrastinator. You like to dive in and knock it out and just stay focused. And you know that when you put your mind to something, especially when it's something the Lord has called you to do, that you're going to see results. Maybe not right away, but you will see results. What you focus on expands. That's something that we used to say in real estate. So when you focus on what the Lord has called you to do, when he's already given you a word that it's going to be fruitful, that this is his purpose for you, you're working in your talent, you are going to see a return on that investment of your time, your energy, you know, your obedience. And the first scripture reference today is John 16, 13. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own, but will tell you what he has heard. He will tell you about the future. So many of you, you're just being obedient in this hour to whatever it is the Lord has called you to do. And maybe you're not seeing the fruit, you know, right away, but you know what your father has spoken to you and you're going to continue forward in obedience, regardless of what the numbers look like, or regardless of the income coming in or what, you know, the immediate results, you know, that, you know, good things come to those who wait. And what do they say that Rome wasn't built overnight or something? You know, it takes time to build something, to build a legacy and it doesn't happen overnight. You know, good things take time. And so you have put the work in. And because of that, the Lord is saying that there are no limits in this hour. Some of you aren't thinking big enough. You know, the Lord has given you an idea and you're framing it in your own mind. But the Lord is saying, think bigger in this hour. There are no limits. When you're working on hashtag team Jesus, there's no limits to what you can do. When you're working under the authority of Jesus Christ, you're in supernatural acceleration. And so the next scripture reference is Matthew 19, 26. Jesus looked at them intently and said, humanly speaking, it is impossible, but with God, everything is possible. So whatever it is the Lord is doing in your life at this time, it's supernatural. This isn't something that is happening because of your hard work. Of course, your hard work is needed and you're doing it out of obedience, but it's your hard work in alignment with what the Lord is calling you to do that is really the secret recipe here. That is your secret recipe for success. He's bringing Deuteronomy 28, 11, 13 to mind, the blessings for obedience. And this is speaking about financial blessing and really just blessing all the work of your hands. And so whatever you're doing this hour, you're putting your hands to work, you're living quiet, a quiet, simple lifestyle, focused and purpose, the Lord is blessing you big time. And a lot of people are noticing, they're paying attention and they want to know what is your secret? And it's really no secret. You are pretty open about the fact that the Lord is doing supernatural things in your life. And that's because you've lost your life 
that you found it in Christ because you submitted control to the Lord. That's precisely why you are taking off in this hour because you're not driving the car. The Holy Spirit is driving the car. You're just a willing vessel and you're allowing the Lord to order your steps. The next scripture reference is Daniel 2.22. He reveals deep and mysterious things and knows what lies hidden in darkness, though he is surrounded by light. Many of you, the Lord has been revealing secrets to you as well. He's been giving you words of knowledge and um, he's just increasing your gifts in this season. And this is all, again, part of your blessings for obedience. The Lord knows he can trust you. You've proven yourself loyal and obedient and so he's going to just continue to increase your gifts increase your finances increase you know um his trust in you you know he's bringing to mind the parable of the talents of the the servant who was given five bags of silver or five bags of gold depending on which version you read of the bible and that servant invested those five bags and produced five more and because of that the master continued to add on to that servant's plate so many of you just because you've been obedient the lord is adding to your plate in this hour and it's blessings you know it's also going you know could be seen as increased workload but you know his yoke is easy and his burden is light when the lord calls you to do something it doesn't feel like work it's enjoyable and many of you are working in your gifts you're working in your talent and that's why even though the lord's giving you more to do it doesn't feel like a burden you're working in your gifts there's a, a easiness about it because you know you are working with what the lord gave you so the next scripture reference is daniel 12 verse 3 those who are wise will shine as bright as the sky, and those who lead many to righteousness will shine like the stars forever. And you are shining so bright in this hour, whatever it is that you're doing that the Lord's called you to do, be it entrepreneurship, ministry, some of you it's both, you know, he's called you back into the marketplace and he's incorporating your ministry into it. It's all working together for your good in this hour. Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, to give you a future and a hope. So just know that even while some of you may not be seeing the results that you want to see in this hour, just know that you are making a lot of progress. You're doing much better than you think. And once you start receiving that return on your investment, it's going to be exponential. It's going to all come in at once. It's going to be like drinking out of a fire hose. So whatever you do, don't stop in this hour. Just continue on your grind. Continue moving forward in purpose. Don't let the enemy delay you, distract you, pull you into chaos and drama. You just stay focused on what you know the Lord's called you to do. And you are a victorious warrior in this season. Nothing can stop you when you are walking in alignment with the Lord, when you're in purpose, you are leading many to righteousness, whatever it is that the Lord's called you to do, and you've incorporated your ministry into it, you're edifying the body of Christ, you're encouraging people. So don't stop, just keep going, you guys. So if this message is for you, come into agreement with this word, get in the comments and just say no limits, no limits. And promise me that you're going to open your mind to think bigger, you know, because whatever it is you're thinking, you know, with man, it's not possible, but with God, everything is possible. So allow the Holy Spirit to open your mind a little bit about what he wants to do in your situation. You know, don't put your limits on God because that's never good. <laughs> he, he's he got so much more in store for you than you could ever even imagine. So if you feel the Holy Spirit leading you to sow into this message, I encourage you to do so. I pray over every seed that the Lord would increase it a thousand fold. I pray for all of you who receive these messages that the right people would receive them at the right time. I pray the Lord continue to go before you, follow behind you, leading you into his perfect will for your lives. If you guys are on the social media platforms, uh, I've got all of mine linked in the description. I'd love to connect with you on those platforms as well. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X. 
I do upload daily content on those platforms as well. If you're interested in joining the membership program for this channel, hashtag Team Jesus, uh, just click the join button. We do a Wednesday night live Bible study and prophetic flow every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. We will be doing it today, uh, April 10th at 6 p.m. Eastern time, our uh, live stream for the members. So if that's something you're interested in, if you wish to have a little more access to me, a little more interaction, that's the best way to do it. It's a much smaller group and it's extremely interactive. So big shout out to hashtag Team Jesus. You guys always show up and support this content and support me and, and this ministry. So thank you so much. Big shout out to all of you guys. You can get your hashtag Team Jesus t-shirt in the store. I've also added hoodies into the mix. They do run a little small, so go a size up if you like your hoodie a little bit uh, larger than, I mean, they, I just think they run kind of snug. Um, if you're interested in real estate in the Dominican Republic, go to my website, covenantrealtydr.com. It's linked in the description. I've got a tour tab on the website. If you're interested in coming to Punta Cana in May, the end of May, we're doing another tour. You can come down, meet me, learn about the buying process in the DR. We actually also do a missions day at the local orphanage. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go to my website. Um, and my sales agent, Nikel, will answer any questions you might have. So um, hope to see you guys in May. We did a tour in February. It was a huge success. So big shout out to everyone who came down in February. I look forward to seeing some of you in May. And I want to welcome all my new subscribers to the family. If you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. And just know when you uh, support this content, you really help it get into that YouTube algorithm. So however you support this channel, through financial partnership, through your prayers, just know that I appreciate each and every one of you so much. I love you all with the love of Christ and stay blessed.